Good day, ladies and gentlemen, Bided here, and welcome back to another how to install video tutorial. In this one, I'm looking at the not enough items, which is some people probably classify as a bit of a rip of, of TMI, but it is anything but. And I'm not going to get involved in that argument because it's just a stupid one. But what it is, it is NEI is something similar to too many items. You can get items in game and you, know, you can turn on the weather and all that stuff. If you haven't seen it, well, I will provide a link to my uh, mod uh, spotlight for it and you can check it out through there. But for this, it's just showing you how to install it. And obviously the first thing you want to do is go to the respective thread on the minecraftforum.net site and I will provide a link for that in the description. You'll be able to go straight to it from there. Once you're there, the first thing you want to do is, before you do anything else, you want to stop and see this here. You've got chicken co or, or code chicken core 0.4.3 for Minecraft 1.2.3. Now what you want to do is you want to click on that show, on the spoiler, and click on the show button. And then you want to do is, again, I'm doing this, this tutorial for uh, single player, not for, mul not for multiplayer, but it does have the server side stuff there. So if you want to do it, you'll have to work that out, unfortunately. But this is for single player. Uh, and then just click on the client, and that will download this code chicken call, which, as you can see, I do have up here, which I can just bring onto the... and you know, moving around on the screen there. That's it there. Just download somewhere nice and easy to find. Okay, so that's cool, because you do need that, and you'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. Now, next thing you want to do is not enough items. Woohoo! That's what we're dealing with here, ladies and gentlemen. Should be pretty cool. All right, now, first things first. Go straight down to the install instructions and downloads. Pretty cool. Uh, first thing you need to do is grab Mod Loader and Mod Loader MP. You do need them. Yes, even for single player, you still need Mod Loader MP. Just because it says MP does not mean it does not need it. It does, so make sure you grab that. And, of course, it does need uh, Code Chicken Core, which you should have just downloaded previously. Uh, okay, and the other thing is also, it, uh, it does not necessarily require Minecraft Forge, but you are better off to have it. Um, because otherwise, as you can see here, if it isn't installed, you won't be able to see mobs in the mob spawner items. So, yeah, it's just a nice feature to have. You get all the features that the the, uh, the NEI can actually give you if you do have um, Forge installed as well. So, yeah, make sure you grab Forge. Uh, we'll, I've actually got a link here. This is what the page will look like. You can see Minecraft uh, Forge client and server. You can grab them from there. I will provide this link, which is right there in the description as well as so you can grab Minecraft Forge. That's the latest version. All right. Um, so there you go, click on client, that will download it. I'm not gonna bother because I've already downloaded all the things that are required here. I've got up here, I've got mod loader. I've also got mod loader MP from SDK. Um, there you go, there's Minecraft Forge and there is not enough items. And of course the code chicken core, which was there before. Uh, there is also a couple of other things here which I'm not gonna go into too much about, but um, he does also have, if you're actually using the mod, the Red Power mod by Ellerum, you can, this can actually help add additional features to NEI, so you can download this here. There's the client thing there and the server there. Um, but also there's another feature here which is pretty cool, because you do not have to have a fresh uh, Minecraft jar to install this. Okay, you can override this, you, well the current one, but you know, probably back it up first obviously, just to make sure, just in case something goes wrong. But what it, there is here is a TMI uninstaller. If you do have too many items currently installed, well, what Chicken Bones has done, he's actually provided an uninstaller to remove all of TMI's fi uh, files because uh, neither of these two mods, TMI and NEI, will not, repeat, not work together at the same time. You can only have one or the other. So if you want to remove TMI, there is an uninstall here, which will remove the files, so therefore you don't have to reinstall every single mod you've got. So that's a cool little feature to have for those that want to get rid of TMI. Uh, but I'm not going to about that just now. So pretty much, as long as you've downloaded the, chicken, the uh, code chicken core, mod loader, mod loader MP, uh, and forge as well, you should be pretty much set. All right, so let's get on with it. I've waffled enough. So that's that done. Now what you want to do is you want to go down to the start button, and then just simply type in percent. I hope I did hit percent thing. I did. <laughs> App data percent, which is not percent. That one is. And then just hit enter, and you will get your roaming folder should open up. And of course, there's your .minecraft folder. Just open that up. Again, as I said before, I'm do oh, I think I mentioned before, I'm doing this with a fresh Minecraft folder, so it should be pretty much empty. And then just open up your bin. Then you come across your Minecraft jar. 
just open that one again. I'm using WinRA, you can use 7-zip. Just close that if that pops up. Uh, first thing you want to do, is, as always, just select your MetaRinf, just hit delete and then enter, delete it, because you want to get rid of it. Okay, so, on to the best bit. Let's install this damn monster. Okay, oops, I don't want help. I think I just clicked help then. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so just open up Mod Loader, select all the files, drag them into your Minecraft jar, just click OK when that little window pops up, done. Now you see there's this little folder at the top here, you can just double click on that, it saves that silly little pop-up window coming all the time. Then you should see Mod Loader MP, just open up that, select all the files, drag it into your Minecraft jar. Again, just click OK when that pops up. And let's continue this, let's continue all this, and now we want to find Minecraft Forge. There's a few files here, so select the first one, scroll down to the bottom, and then hold shift, and then click, and that will select all the files. Again, just drag and drop into your Minecraft.jar, and click OK. And scroll to the top, click that, double click that little folder. And finally, and last but not least, not enough items. Just select all those files, and drag and drop again into the Minecraft.jar. So there you go. Your mod loader, mod loader MP, Minecraft Forge, and not enough items all go into your Minecraft.jar. And that's it. So we can close both of them. Pretty damn cool. And we get back to your Minecraft or your dot Minecraft folder. And what you can do now is, if you haven't already got your mods folder, just simply right click and then create a new folder. And then just simply call it or called. Simply call it mods, M-O-D-S. Bang, done. Just open that up if you want to. Grab the uh, code chicken core zip file and drag that into the mods folder. Because without that being there, it will not work. It does not go in the jar file. Do not put that in there. Into the, do, yeah, do not put the code chicken core in the jar file because it won't work. Then just simply close that down and we should be good to go. So now let's just load up Minecraft. Now I'll just have to enter in my password here. Yeah, there we go. Not going to worry about remembering. And with a bit of luck, we should not black screen, which is also a very good start for one thing. And just do single play, create a new world, don't care about that. Let's just see what we get here. And is it going to load? Saving chunks, which is pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Right in the jungle. Awesome source. Okay, now press E to open your inventory. <gasps> look at that. Perfect. Excelente. They all work. There's all your features. There's all your uh, NEI options there. That's pretty damn cool. And you're done. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. That is how you install not enough items. A very awesome uh, mod. And so, yeah. So that's it. So what else can I say? Apart from, you know, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And, you know, obviously until next time, keep cool, keep safe. And I'll catch you around. Goodbye.